hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to try the ethnicity tag this tag has been on YouTube for years and being that my country's independence is today here in New Zealand which will be tomorrow in my country because I'm on their head or whatever yeah so I decided that I would do a two-part video I would do the ethnicity tag today to celebrate hair and I would do a makeup video inspired by my country's flag um, and I would upload that tomorrow to celebrate with my people at home so if you want to learn a little bit more about me and where I'm from then keep on watching there are seven questions for this tag but I think I would add a couple of questions from another tag that I found online just to make it a little bit longer and just to share a little bit more about me with you guys so question number one what is your ethnicity I am West Indian um, Caribbean Vincentian I am originally from St. Vincent and the Grenadines which is a tiny tiny island in the Caribbean People from my country are called Vincentians though, but our ethnicity is West Indian. Okay, question number two. When was the last time you visited your country? Ah, the last time I was home was in 2012 when I had my son. I went home to give birth. Question number three. Name one ethnic food you enjoy. Whew. That's That's so easy. The main ethnic food that I love from back home is roasted breadfruit fried over with stewed saltfish. Next question. One Name one household item that best represents your culture. <laughs> okay. The coal pot. Now the coal pot is something that we use outside like to when we're gonna cook something that would use up a lot of gas we would use um a coal pot add coals or firewood whatever you have you add that in there and then you would cook on top of that because growing up i used to love making plum stew and when i'm making plum stew i had to make it outside because it would just use up too much of my aunt's gas and she would always be cussing me out for that so yeah i always refer to the coal pot Question number five, what part of your country are you from? My island has two parts. It has um, the windward side and the leeward side. I'm from the leeward side and I'm from a little village not too far from the city called Clay Valley. It's a little fishing village. Yeah, our community is very small. So, Next question, what song reminds you of your country? Um, living outside of my country, when you hear like a reggaeton song, a lot of people would say, oh, you know, that is your type of music, that's where you're from. But really and truly, reggaeton music does not define my country because we don't really put out much reggae out there. That's a Jamaican thing. But our main music is called Soka. And whenever i hear a soca song whether it's from my island or neighboring island like barbados or trinidad yeah anytime i hear a soca song it instantly reminds me of home because soca music is really a big part of our culture it's a big part of us so yeah it reminds me a lot of my country next question can you speak the language of your ethnicity I was kind of debating on this or whether or not we have like a language because our official language is English we speak English throughout but I guess everybody has a dialect in their language they have a dialect for their language so we speak a dialect English and I would say something for you what should I say maybe I should say um let us go to school to translate that this, this is just a random <laughs> sentence i just come up with so yeah so to say let us go to school you would say in my language um 
leal we go to school yeah <laughs> if i saw you say something like that okay so that was the last question from the ethnicity ethnicity tag questions but i would add in some extras which is one were you born there yes i was born there i was born and raised in my country i left home back in 2011 i went back 2012 and um i came back here 2013 and since then I haven't been home I'm missing home so much I miss my friends I miss my relatives and I miss my community I just miss home you know I miss going to the beach I miss just my village next question are your pet were your parents strict well growing up I didn't live with my mom I live with my aunt and she was like so strict so strict it was like from home to school to church to home we couldn't go anywhere and she was that strict to me mainly because of our religion because i grew up in the seventh day adventist home and that religion has a lot of rules and a lot of restrictions like you can't wear makeup you can't wear nail polish you can't wear jewelry like you can't eat certain things you can't go certain places and I think because of that, that's the reason why my aunt was really that strict on us. But yeah, I grew up in a strict household. What do you hate most about your country? Ah, <sighs> that's a hard one. What do I hate most about my country? I can't think of anything though. I can't think of anything that I hate about my country. That was a really weird, hard question. Like, it's your country and even though you might not um, agree with certain things that happens in your country it's not a reason for you to say that you hate your country so I find that a weird question so I don't have anything that I hate I don't I can't think of anything that I hate about my country next question did you have a nickname <laughs> is Kimo. Kimo is just short for my uh, my full name which is Kimura but it's a word right? Kimura is my second name but Nikisha is my first name right? and I used to carry Nikisha to school but people at school never called me Nikisha there are people that went to school with me and right now they would be like oh you name Nikisha? people never know that I name Nikisha because everybody called me Kimo Akimura, it was just stuck and nobody never really called me by my first name so yeah next question this is the last question by the way what makes you different from other Vincentians I don't know if this really makes me different from other Vincentians because everybody has their own personality everybody has their own priorities Everybody don't get the same opportunity But I love traveling and I am the type of person that would Jump to the first opportunity to travel to to get to know other people to know other cultures to know other things so if if somebody offer me an opportunity to go somewhere like Madagascar uh, somewhere that Vincentian would normally travel a lot of Vincentian would be like oh no I would not go they wouldn't they wouldn't jump at the opportunity but for me I would so yeah I think that um, set me aside from a lot of Vincentians and the reason why I brought up that point is because I was in the situation before where I chose to go somewhere that people from my country wouldn't normally go and then the people that I taught were my friends they were the one who really say well oh um what is she doing there suppose the kidnapper suppose this happened suppose that happened and i was like really in this day and age people thinking about that what happened to wanna travel the world and know other cultures and learn different things what happened to you know like that type of education like i don't know like people find that it was weird that i choose to travel certain places and yeah, I would say 
that set me aside from a lot of incension anyways with that said that was the last of the questions i hope you guys enjoyed it yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see me do more tag videos or if you would like to see me do a special tag in particular um let me know down in the comment section and i will definitely do it because i feel like me doing tag videos is a way of me letting you guys know more about me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys i know a lot of you watch my videos but keep forgetting to hit that subscribe button don't forget today just hit the red and white button down below and yeah happy independence to my country um you guys at home enjoy the independence but be safe be careful i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys